Production of the Houston PBS Spelling Bee was made possible by the Holt House Foundation for Kids, dedicated to preparing children for life. Hello, I'm John Hesse, General Manager of Houston PBS, where this year we are proud to be the new sponsor of the Spelling Bee. Houston PBS is the first public television station in the country to be the local sponsor of Scripps National Spelling Bee. That distinction fits perfectly with our station's educational mission to empower, engage, and enrich the lives of the people of Southeast Texas. So thank you for watching, and we wish everyone the best of luck. It all started last fall with over a thousand schools from 42 counties. After countless hours of studying and competition, we have 53 finalists sitting on the stage. And today's final spelling bee will produce a champion to represent Houston PBS and Southeast Texas in the Scripps National Spelling Bee this spring in Washington, D.C. Hello, I'm Ernie Manoos, and this is the 2009 Houston PBS Spelling Bee. Before we meet all of our spellers, let's meet our officials. Our pronouncer is Dr. Robin Williamson, professor and chair of the Communications Department at the University of St. Thomas, with over 23 years of B experience. And our judges are Dr. Greg Getz, professor of sociology in the Social Science Department at the University of Houston downtown, with 10 years of B experience. Dr. Joseph McDade, Professor of English and Humanities at Houston Community College Northeast with 10 years of B experience. And Dr. Martha Hahn, who also is serving as our alternate pronouncer. She is the Director of Graduate Studies at the Jack J. Valenti School of Communications at the University of Houston, and she brings more than 20 years of B experience. Now that you've met the officials, let's hear about the rules. The pronouncer will say the word. Spellers are encouraged to repeat the word to ensure that the word is being heard correctly. The speller may ask the pronouncer to say the word again, define it, use it in a sentence, provide the part of speech, provide the language of origin, or provide an alternate pronunciation. If a speller starts a word over, the sequence that was already spoken may not be changed. The spelling bee is conducted in rounds. When a speller incorrectly spells a word, the speller drops out of the competition. The rounds continue until there is only one speller left in a round. If that speller correctly spells the next word, the speller is declared the champion. Although only one person can win today, each finalist who stands in front of the mic is already a spelling champion, having won other bees to get here. Congratulations to you all, and best wishes. And now, let's begin. Our first speller is Hannah Bonner from Cypress Fairbanks ISD. Dr. Williams, take it away. Regime. Regime. R-E-G-I-M-E. -E. Correct. Speller number two is Keaton Grovey, representing Houston ISD South Region. Mediocre. Mediocre. M E D I O C R E. Correct. Our next speller is number three, Andrew Wallace, representing Houston ISD North Region. Palmetto. Palmetto. P-A-L-M-E-T-T-O. Correct. Speller number four is Jariah Hewitt, representing Pasadena ISD. Capitulation. Capitulation. C-A-P-I-T-U-L-A-T-I-O-N. Correct. Speller number five, Levi Lintag, Channel View ISD. Thesaurus. Thesaurus. T-H-E-S-A-U-R-U-S. -E Thesaurus. Correct. Speller 6, Adrienne Meredith, representing Houston ISD, North Region. Erudite. Could you, give, could you say it again, please? 
Erudite. Erudite. E R U D I T E. Correct. Speller seven, Manuel Figueroa, representing Galena Park ISD. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. R I D I C U L O U S. Ridiculous. Correct. Speller eight, Ross Shad Pavar, representing Brazos and Washington counties. Picaresque. Uh, could you repeat the word? Picaresque. Can I have the language of origin? Spanish. Can you repeat the word? Picaresque. Picaresque. P I C A R E S Q U E. Picaresque. Correct. <laughs> Speller number nine, Jennifer Soto, representing Houston ISD alternate and charter schools. Endemic. Endemic. May I have a language of origin? Greek. Can you use it in a sentence? Despite its name, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is not endemic to the Western United States. Endemic. E N D E M I C. Endemic. Correct. Spell it number 10, Christina Johnson, Deer Park, ISD. Cordovan. Cordovan. C-O-R-D-O-V-A-N. Cordovan. Correct. Speller 11, Ariana Green, Humble, ISD. Quinine. Quinine. Say it one more time. Quinine. Quinine. Q U I N I N E. Correct. Speller number 12, Logan Gloucester, Fort Bend County. Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy? Bureaucracy. May I have the definition? A particular group of government officials. Bureaucracy. B U R. E A U C R A C Y. Bureaucracy. Correct. Speller number 13, Nina Lobo, representing Fort Bend County. Carafe. May I have the definition, please? A bottle usually made of glass with a narrow neck and spherical body and used to hold water or beverages. Can you repeat it one more time? Carafe. Carafe. C A R A F E. Carafe. Correct. Speller 14, Lakshmi Bora, representing Houston ISD West Region. Nemesis. Nemesis. N E M E S I S. Nemesis. Correct. Speller 15. Is Muaz Ahmad representing the charter schools in Harris County? Incriminate. 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 May I have the language of origin? Latin. I N C R I M I N A T E. Correct. Speller 16, Karthik Ghali representing Klein ISD. Wayne Scott. Wayne Scott. Wayne Scott. Wayne Scott. W A I N S C O T. Correct. Speller 17, Aaron Pan, Fort Bend County. Mayonnaise. May you please repeat the word? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. M A Y O N N A I F E. Mayonnaise. Correct. Speller 18, Hassan Mitchell, representing Houston ISD, North Region. Panglossian. Can you repeat the word? Panglossian. Can you pronounce it again? Panglossian. May I have the definition? Marked by the view that all is for the best in this best of possible worlds. 
Panglossian. Say it one more time. Panglossian. 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 P L A N G L O S I A N. I'm sorry, it's P A N G L O S S I A N. Speller number 19, Sean Gonzalez, Aldine ISD. Amphibious. Can I have the definition? Able to live both on land and in water. Amphibious. A M P H I B I O U S. Amphibious. Correct. Speller 20, Lizzie Bueller. Hayes, Travis, Williamson counties. Nadir. Nadir. Um, what is the definition, please? The point of the celestial sphere that is directly opposite the zenith and vertically downward from the observer. Um, what is the language of origin, please? Arabic into French into English. Nadir. N A D I R. Nadir. Correct. Speller 21, Carissa Robbins, representing Sheldon ISD. Gulag. 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 Can I have the definition, please? The penal system of the former Soviet Union consisting of a network of labor camps. May I have the word of origin, please? Russian. Gulag. G U. L A G Gulag. Correct. Speller 22 is Melissa Natividad, representing Klein ISD. Demotic. Um, can you repeat that word again? Demotic. Can you use it in a sentence? Everyone in Kalistra's ancestral village spoke Demotic Greek except the priest. Demotic. D. E M O T I C, demotic. Correct. Speller 23, Nevada Parakala. Representing Haley ISD. Precipitate. Precipitate. P R E C I P I T A T E. Correct. Speller 24, it's Kaylee Brown. Representing Cypress Fairbanks ISD. Yaman. Can you please repeat the word? Yaman. Are there any alternate pronunciations? I'm afraid not. Yaman. Can I have a definition, please? An establishment used by a Chinese government official or department for official business and often as a residence, a headquarters. Yaman. Can I have the language of origin? Chinese. Why? Ch oh, sorry. <laughs> y A M I N Yaman. I'm sorry, it's E N Y A M E N. Now, speller 25 is Gina Kim from Houston ISD Central Region. Perfidy. Perfidy. May I please have the definition? An act or instance of deception or betrayal. And may I have the language of origin? Latin. Perfidy. P E R F I D Y. Perfidy. Correct. Speller 26, Ethan Trog, Cypress Fairbanks ISD. Kishka. Kishka. Language of origin? Slavic to Yiddish. Kishka. K-I-S-H-K-E. Correct. Speller 27, Chris Deloey, representing Laporte ISD. 
Swahili. <coughs> Swahili. S W A H I L I. Swahili. Correct. Speller 28 from Pasadena ISD is Jake Minter. Chagrin. Chagrin. C H A G R I N. Correct. Representing Angelina Nagadoshis in St. Augustine Counties is Speller 29, C.J. Molina. Bolivar. Bolivar? Bolivar. Can I please have the definition? The basic monetary unit of Venezuela. May I have the language of origin? A South American name. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Bolivar. May I have it in a sentence? Drew recently added a ruble and a bolivar to his currency collection. May you please repeat the word? Bolivar. Bolivar? Bolivar. May I please have the language of origin again? Yes. It's from a South American name. Can you please repeat the word? Bolivar. Bolivar. B O. L I V A R. Correct. Correct. Speller 30 is Audrey Warren, representing Houston ISD, North Region. Pacifism. 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 <clears throat> Pacifism. P A C I F I S M. Pacifism. Correct. Speller 31, Lauren Thyler, representing Montgomery, Polk, and Walker County. Crescendo. Crescendo. C-R-E-S-C-E-N-D-O. Correct. Speller 32, Thomas Shu, representing Katie ISD. Boysenberry. Boysenberry. Could I have the definition, please? A very large bramble fruit with a flavor like a raspberry, especially valued for canning and preserving. Boysenberry. Could I have the language of origin, please? It's from an American name plus an originally English word. Boysenberry. B-O-Y-S-E-N-B-E-R-R-Y. Boysenberry. Correct. Speller 33, Jonathan Jackson, representing Brazoria County. Gloss nost. Gloss nost. Can I have the definition, please? A policy permitting public discourse and expression of opinion on domestic issues formally forbidden to discussion, especially in the former Soviet Union. Uh, can I have the language, uh, language of origin, please? Russian. Could you repeat the word? Gloss nost. It can also be pronounced glass nost. Uh, glass nost. G L A S N O S T. Correct. Speller 34, Gurneet Kaur, representing Tomball ISD. Forsythia. May I have the language of origin, please? From a British name. May you repeat the word, please? Forsythia. Forsythia. F O R S Y T H I A. Forsythia. Correct. Speller 35 is Jada Franklin representing Houston ISD East Region. Eulogy. Can you repeat the word, please? Eulogy. Eulogy. E-U-L-O-G-Y. Eulogy? Correct. Speller 36, Toby Bowyer, representing Houston ISD, West Region. Macrame. Can you, pre- can you please repeat the word? Macrame. Can I have a definition? A coarse lace or decorative fringe made by knotting threads or cords in a geometrical pattern. I have the language of origin. 
from Arabic to Turkish to either Italian or French into English. Can you, can you repeat the word? Macrame. Macrame. M A C R A M E. Macrame. Correct. Correct. Speller 37, Truth, Iyawai, representing Houston ISD, West Region. Patel. 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 P A T E L. Correct. Speller 38, Aditya Chemudia Pati from Brazoria County. Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. May I have the language of origin, please? Latin. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Electricity is so ubiquitous in our lives that we take it for granted. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No alternate pronunciations. Ubiquitous. Um, may I have the definition, please? Existing or being everywhere at the same time, omnipresent. May I have the part of speech, please? Adjective. Ubiquitous. 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 U, B, I, Q, U, I, T, O, U S ubiquitous. Correct. Correct. Speller thirty nine, Paige Prevost, representing Jefferson County. Furlough. <coughs> Furlough. Can I have the definition, please? A leave of absence granted to a governmental or institutional employee as a soldier, civil servant, or missionary. Can you repeat the word? I mean, can you use it in a sentence, please? After basic training. The commander granted a two-week furlough to all the soldiers in the company. Um, language of origin? Dutch. Okay. Furlough. F-U-R-L-O-U-G-H. Furlough. Correct. Speller 40 is Christina Ocampo, representing the parochial schools in Harris County. Philanthropy. Philanthropy. May I please have the definition? Goodwill toward others, especially as expressed through active efforts to promote human welfare, humanitarianism. Can you please use it in a sentence? A few individuals with a well-developed sense of philanthropy can do wonders for society. Philanthropy. P-H-I-L-A-N-T-H- R-O-P-Y, philanthropy. Correct. Correct. Speller 41 represents the private schools in Harris County and is Emma Graves. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. H-I-P-P-O-P-O-T-A-M-U-S, hippopotamus. Correct. Speller 42, Zebdiel Rodriguez, representing Spring ISD. Sortie. Sortie. S-O-R-T-I-E. Correct. Speller 43 is Dylan Spence. He's representing Austin, Colorado, Waller, and Wharton Counties. Ostentatious. 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 May I please have the definition? Attracting attention often by gaudiness or show, conspicuous. Can, I, can you use the word in a sentence? Mrs. Howell's purchase of a diamond-studded collar for her poodle was one of her many ostentatious extravagances. Is there another um, pronunciation? Pronunciation. Um, Ostentatious. Ostentatious? How would you like to say it? How would you like to say it? 
Ostentatious. Ostentatious. <laughs> I think ostentatious is probably the general uh, pronunciation. Ostentatious. O S T E N T A T I O U S. Correct. Speller 44, Imani Tatman, representing North Forest ISD. Inselberg. Inselberg. I N S E L B E R G. Inselberg. Correct. Speller 45, Kailana Calhoun, representing Southeast Texas Homeschool Association. Bonsai. Bonsai. Definition, please. A Japanese cheer, a cry of enthusiasm or triumph, usually used interjectionally. Origin? Japanese. Part of speech? It's a noun. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Mm -hmm. The members of the gold team shouted a loud banzai as their field day triumph over the blue team was announced. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Not really. Bonsai, I guess. It would be more uh, accent. accent. Could either be bonsai or bonsai. But bonsai is the first bonsai choice. Bonsai is the first choice. Bonsai. B A N Z A I. Bonsai. That's it. Correct. Correct. Speller 46, Jacqueline Terex from Spring Branch ISD. Altruism. Could I have the definition, please? Uncalculated consideration of, regard for, or devotion to others' interests, sometimes in accordance with an ethical principle. Altruism. A-L-T-R-U-I-S-M. Altruism. Correct. Speller 47, Nico Dela Cruz is representing Houston ISD Central Region. Bara Bara. Can you please um can you please uh, can you please have the origin? From a Russian dialect word. Can you please repeat the word? Bara Bara. Bara Bara. B A R A B A R A. Correct. Speller 48, Matthew Smith, Orange County. Corpuscle. Corpuscle. Can you uh, use it in a, defi a definition? A living cell, usually one that is somewhat isolated and not aggregated into continuous tissues. Corpuscle. C-O-R-P-U-S-A-L. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to ring that. Corpuscle is C O R P U S C L E. Tricky ending. Speller 49, Chimay Kulkarni representing Goose Creek ISD. Magnanimous. Magnanimous. <clears throat> May I have the language of origin? Latin. May I have a definition? Showing or suggesting nobility of feeling and generosity of mind. May I have a sentence, please? Simone's sister does not share her magnanimous attitude toward the homeless. May I have an alternate pronunciation? I'm afraid there is no alternate, uh, alternate pronunciation, but I'll say it one more time. Magnanimous. Magnanimous. M A G N A N. I-M-O-U-S, magnanimous. Correct. Correct. 